let us look at some example services uh, which uh, service overlay uh, networks may offer. Uh, for that, uh, we, we have to convince ourselves about the need uh, which emerges and justifies the deployment of SONs and then we look at the services themselves. So the first and most important thing is that although we do have the service stratum and the transport stratum and uh, end user applications can directly engage with the NGN service stratum and use the entire NGN infrastructure. It is very much possible. Uh, but at the same time, um, the kind of evolution and the kind of continuous improvement which is taking place in the service sector means that uh, the services are going to emerge at a very fast rate. So it means that there should be a mechanism that allows the NGN to be used by the service providers, um, um, these services, and these services are provisioned to the end users uh, in the most seamless manner. Uh, so that is actually a primary motive for the adoption of SONs. Um, we have certain examples uh, that uh, we are going to look at, including the classical example for NGN, that is uh, IP-based uh, TV, that is uh, stored or streaming TV service. Then we have certain community-based services. Uh, we have uh, uh, the virtualization of uh, home network and cloud computing. So all these are very interesting and fascinating ideas. Uh, let's start with uh, IPTV first. Uh, IPTV um, is one of the most quoted and uh, one of the most uh, important concerns for the adoption of NGN and for benchmarking the performance of NGNs. Uh, so IPTV services are offered in a variety of ways. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, it could be NGN or non-NGN based IPTV service provisioning. Uh, within NGN, it could again be IP multimedia subsystem based uh, IPTV service provisioning or non-IMS based. Uh, so uh, we can say that uh, uh, there are uh, a variety of alternatives, options, uh, choices, uh, which could include different kinds of IPTV content. Um, it is coming from uh, the non-telco or non-NGN provider network, for instance, a third party. In that case, it, it becomes important to uh, come up with um, a SON kind of mechanism for IPTV service provisioning. Uh, for, there could be, for instance, a customer-oriented IPTV, that is uh, 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 an IP television uh, function which is provided by a certain community uh, as a podcast, uh, so uh, they can offer it as a SON-based uh, service. So uh, if IPTV has to be provided, then some of the most important considerations that uh, uh, IPTV has to expect from SON is the session control, because in, in multimedia traffic, managing a session is, uh, is quite of a concern, especially once it uh, a device like a handheld PD or a smartphone is on the move. Uh, security has to be ensured. And then uh, the service of has to be provided amongst a certain uh, community. It could be a closed user group, uh, for instance, a multicast group of uh, some uh, specific uh, content um, um, interested people, for instance, students or uh, a business community or the professors. Uh, then uh, SON in turn expects the service control functions uh, to, uh, to, to be invoked uh, so that a user actually can interact with, uh, with the application and in turn with SON services uh, for personalization and for other kinds of um, modification to the uh, choices. Uh, uh, let's look at uh, certain uh, community services. Uh, these 
uh, community services could be custom services uh, which have a particular audience. It, it is basically a data service which is offered to a group of people uh, who form a logical group. Um, so they actually come up with a head or a master who decides uh, what is going to be the QS requirement, what is going to be the security requirement, uh, and all these things have to be defined uh, for a certain session. Uh, so these these users could be uh, non-contiguous, non-neighbor network-based individuals uh, who are coming from home networks or uh, uh, customer premises networks, uh, for instance, uh, uh, head offices or the um, branch offices of an organization, or even could be coming from the uh, public access networks like uh, Wi-Fi hotspots. Uh, Bluetooth hotspots or even uh, um, LTE based networks. Um, so it means that all these different users have to be provided uh, IPTV service or any other community service in a very seamless manner. So this is exactly where SONs become relevant. Uh, then we have virtual home network. So let's, let's look at what is a home network. A home network basically is like your um, Wi-Fi access point based uh, network in your own house where you and your family uh, members connect and get the internet services. Uh, even you can form your own private network where uh, you can uh, interact or play games with your with your family on a wireless LAN. So uh, it, it is a, a typical home network but you can create something similar to a home network as a virtual network by connecting again the physical, uh, uh, physically non-contiguous uh, devices uh, into a logical interconnect. Um, so these could be from altogether different locations. Um, so uh, once a home network is formed virtually, then the participants or the users of that particular home network can share uh, data, services, and uh, common interests. Uh, the last one is again uh, uh, very hot and uh, trendy these days. Uh, it has become more of uh, a buzzword, but uh, the underlying concept is uh, very much related to SONs, that is uh, cloud computing. Uh, cloud computing is essentially a distributed computing environment uh, where basic computing functionalities, for instance, uh, storage, uh, processing, um, different uh, applications like um, office applications uh, are offered to a number of users, in fact, a very large number of end users uh, who are connecting to the NGN through uh, their own desktops, laptops, smartphones, etc. Uh, for as long as they have IP connectivity uh, and as long as they're connected to NGN, they are very much uh, in a position to avail this cloud computing service on the basis of SON connectivity. Now these services are offered like typical client server architecture, like a web server where a client browser uh, requests content from the web server. Uh, the beauty of us having service overlay network uh, between the user applications asking any of these cloud computing service uh, and the underlying NGN architecture is that SON provides complete uh, transparency. In fact, uh, 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 complete uh, independence from uh, the underlying infrastructure. So uh, which particular software is providing the service? Um, where is the hardware situated? Uh, who exactly is providing the service, the network administrator? or the owner of that particular service provider. Um, it, it is uh, the beauty and it's essentially it is not much different from how uh, uh, typical web-based uh, uh, services and applications work. So from SON, if such cloud computing services have to be offered to users, what are the expectations? The expectations are that uh, some kind of uh, uh, contract uh, should take place like service level agreement, uh, then security um, configurations have to be 
uh, reconciled and agreed to then service uh, services have to be provisioned if uh, certain uh, applications have to integrate certain services like infra infrastructure as a service uh, software as a service um, or any other kind of uh, um, service like platform as a service then all these have to be integrated and over time depending upon the user requirements and the user subscription these have to be adopted uh, and adapted so this is essentially what uh, cloud computing uh, is as a son service based application